Okay, so we're gonna get into my Fafnir run. Um, now with the Fafnir team, I kind of still got some fine tuning to do, but it's not bad. I say this is probably like a, give it about a 70%, 70% I feel like is fair on uh, how consistent the clear is. But again, that's okay. You're just trying to work your way up. I feel like once you get into 16, all the 16s are like kind of rough. I still feel like overall Kronos is still one of the fairlier harder ones. Uh, but the resistance scaling on uh, the enemies is definitely a lot higher because I'm not landing like the defense breaks like I was before. But as long as your team can sustain itself pretty well, um, I will say the lack of one shotting that the enemy gives is kind of helpful. So you are able to kind of face tank some of the um, Envari treasures if you don't proc it. Um, but again, that still is something that uh, will come with the investment of your team, you know, better relic quality, relic boost, etc. Um, but of course, after we get through this run, we'll get into some other alternatives that you guys can use. But this is end game, so we're gonna see here. We're gonna do our AP push heal. I know a lot of people have actually been using a mod over Clara for. Um, Fafnir so there is that so I wouldn't say that Claw is necessarily the end-all be-all but AP does actually work in Fafnir now whereas it used to not so um, there is that so we'll see uh, the first bar Lin I think my Lin is actually consistently procking the bars as well so that's also really good all right and encounter claw i think is still pretty like good here too if you are going to use her i feel like the counter you got to keep it all right so we got the shield procs all done here and then we're working on the next hp bar and i feel like the only nice thing about using hades is that he progressively gets stronger so that does kind of like ends up being beneficial here but you can still alternate him in uh, or out i should say for like tang yuan tang yuan is still heavily used even in the higher floors here all right so we're working almost almost done i'm glad they decreased the amount of hp bars fafnir has i swear all right there we go and then we should be on our like second to last rotation of fafnir's turns here and I think I have my speed just right in terms of like the rotation of immunity coverage. It's actually seem seeming to be pretty pretty solid for now. So I'm gonna just kind of leave it. All right, and then there we go. So we got that. And then we're working on this last Invaris treasure. I don't know if we'll actually get it though, but we'll see. It's not gonna really matter because the last rotation. Once you're on that last HP bar, it doesn't matter as much. Um, all right, and then, oh yeah, we're good. All right, and that should be a good old fashioned GG. I think this is about a three minute clear, roughly. Uh, I might've actually, I don't know. I might've actually did it a little bit quicker. Don't know, but we'll see. And then Lynn, is it Lynn finishing it off? Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh. No, okay, the unnecessary extra turn. Love to see it. <laughs> love love to see the unnecessary extra turn. There we go. I bet. Alright, so we got Fafnir 15. I say pretty, pretty, pretty consistent. Alright, so there we go. And yeah, dropped it down to 346. So that's probably about, I swear it was at like 347. But again, this team works for me. Um, but let's get into some alternatives for you guys. Now, um, some other units that, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of. Obviously, Gaius or Zeus is being used heavily. Uh, Ahmad is still going to be super, super broken here because he can counter. He's the only character that can counter uh, HP ceiling decrease. Uh, Gabby does work here too. Um, again, when you're looking at like what uh, NC Pfeiffer, the homie NC Pfeiffer is using, uh, this is a fairly fast Gabby. That's uh, almost 300 speed Gabby. Um, and units are fairly worked up. Um, the sets I'm actually utilizing just for those that are going to be wondering. Uh, attack set with crit rate. 
um it's going to be basic build crit damage uh attack uh, uh speed actually I actually went with speed and that's for the rotation so you do have to be a little bit more mindful of rotating on fafnir so there's that um going to be using crit damage attack attack on lin um then with my hades he's always going to be for the most part built on the hades set um have him on the counter attack so that still ends up being really really useful um then if you're using clara counter clara still is still really good i i know like people are complaining about her getting nerfed but um i still feel like she's really solid you just don't have the annoyances that she uh would have normally brought to the table in like pvp so i guess it's kind of fair uh, and then, of course, Gabby. We cannot forget Gabby. HP accuracy is what I'm running her on with speed. So I do have her at 100% accuracy. So I might alternate that out. But for the most part, the big thing is just making sure your Gabby is about that, almost at that like 250 mark on speed. She needs to be going first every single time. Um, now, that's pretty much that for what I'm using, at least now. Going back to this, uh, again, you can still utilize units like Tang Yuan, alternate him into more of a crit damage build. Uh, I still think he can work on the Hades build, but to really get more out of him, you're going to definitely be swapping into the crit damage, crit rate build. Um, again, Bernice still works extremely well here. And yes, the twins do work here. Uh, considering that with the increment of level increasing for the actual stages, they still kept it to where the hp bars didn't increase so you can still actually get away with using the twins uh you can use like a tanky build on death guard by with speed so windwalker apollo and then with uh death guard hey you're still going to be doing the attack build so crit damage uh attack percent and then attack percent master groove for a little bit more tankiness you might start seeing that a little bit more often uh and that's primarily because people are just trying to give their damage dealers a little bit more hp threshold um so again like i said bernice still works here you just need to slap as much hp as you can on her uh i actually still have her on ocean waves so that can still work um but wind walker is really good because of the actual speed that you'll get from that and then with master groove so that still works um and then i would say outside of that um those are going to be like some of your like i would say ger more general alternatives you can still use sally here uh healing efficiency if not um you can go with ocean waves just for the rotating of her abilities a little bit more but that's going to be pretty much that i mean the units don't really change as much you might see a couple of people using uh sanders but that's with a little bit more of a brute force comp um but again yeah the units are like the same it's still typically like as you can see gabby lynn bernice um this is Dai Yi. so you know it's not going to be too many like different variants um you might start seeing some comps as we get a little bit more familiar with the higher difficulty spike uh what's his name um azure dragon i know that was a unit that was being used to like one shot but i don't know how he's been affected or if he is still able to do that with the level 16 or 15 uh fafnir but that's pretty much going to be the clear for this we've gone through all the ritual miracle dungeons so um again like i said we'll have some more content just showing off some different compositions uh in the near future for those of you guys that have different variants or different team comps that you're utilizing but um again if you can be within that 14 through i uh, say 16 mark you are pretty solid i'll say minimum 14 and you're getting some really really good adjustments and changes to relic quality drop uh and you'll still have some consistent five stars for gold so that's a really good i would say win-win situation there uh but that's going to be that guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one